VMware Appliance Management Interface is the web-based management interface to perform basic administrative tasks for appliance configuration. This interface allows running some tasks via UI instead of using the command line interface. If you are unable to access VMware Appliance Management Interface because of a lost, forgotten, or expired root password. In today's lab session, I will provide steps to reset a lost, forgotten, or expired root password for a vCenter Server Appliance or External Platform Service Controller 6.5 and later. Please remember, the default vCenter Server Appliance password expires after 90 days. We have two methods to reset the vCenter Server Appliance root password. Reset root password using vCenter SSO credentials and also you can reset root password using Linux GNU Grub Edit menu. Welcome to Global Technology Options Knowledge Sharing Sessions. If your environment has VCSA 6.7 U1 or later, you can use this simple method to reset the VCSA root password. If the VCSA single sign-on password is not available, you cannot proceed with this method. Connect to the vCenter server appliance using SSH, and log in using vCenter single sign-on credentials. In my lab environment, I will use administrator at vSphere.local credentials to access VCSA. Enable the shell using this command. Run this command to change the root password. Enter the new password twice for confirmation. Now you can exit the session by running the exit or logout command. Confirm that you can access the vCenter server appliance using the new root password. If your environment has VCSA 6.5 or later, you can use this method to reset the VCSA root password. Before starting, take a snapshot or backup of the vCenter server appliance. If vCenter server running on ESXi host, connect to the ESXi host. Take vCenter server console. Reboot the vCenter server appliance. After the VCSA Photon OS starts, press the E key to enter the GNU Grub Edit menu. Locate the line that begins with the word Linux and append these entries to the end of the line. Then press F10 to continue booting. Run this command. In the command prompt, Enter the command pass wd and provide a new root password. Enter twice for confirmation. Unmount the file system by running this command. Reboot the vCenter server appliance.
Confirm that you can access the vCenter server appliance using the new root password. If you like, you can set the root password to never expire in order to prevent this issue by running this command. Watch, like, and subscribe to my channel and Facebook page for more exciting sessions.